Now, my favorite of all, probably the best one you can do, which is also gives you an idea of how to assess how tight someone really is. I don't know where these names came from. I have no clue. Okay, they make no sense. The bottom line is a hip flexor stretch. It's a quad stretch. Sit right, literally on the edge of this bench. Literally on the edge. A little more on the edge. Okay, I want, as a, as a trainer, I'm gonna have you fall back. I'm taking one leg with you. You ready? Fall back for me. Good. Now I did that because I brought this lever arm towards you so that you wouldn't arch your back. If you just sat back, you would arch your back. Because all this, the, the whole load of your leg would pull on the pelvis. You have a muscle called the psoas that attaches to the mid femur and the hip. And as, this leg, as the legs were down and you fell back, it would just pull on the pelvis and you'd probably arch your back. So if you have deconditioned clients, it's the worst thing you could do. So I brought this with you to protect you, okay? This leg is hanging. That's cool. I want that to hang there. I'm going to hold underneath. Never do this with a client. Hyperflexion. You hold underneath. I'm your brace. Okay. Now I'm looking. Not that tight. I'm looking at the way this sits. I'm looking at, I'm picturing the sartorius and all these muscles in here, what's happening. So what I'm going to do here is I'm not just going to hold the femur lightly. You tell me what's going on. Anything? Okay, now, on a scale of one to 10, it wasn't much, was it? No. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is come down here, Code, watch what I do with my leg. I'm gonna have my leg here on her ankle and I'm just going to flex her a little bit. I'm gonna flex her a little bit. And now, what's the difference? Yes, there's a lot. <laughs> okay, so what I did is I elongated the rectus femoris some of those muscles in the quadricep area, by bringing you to about 90 degrees or a little beyond that, okay, 80, 90 degrees, and I'm holding this as a lever arm, and I wanted to see how tight you are in this area. I'm not pressing too hard. I'm more or less holding here and holding here. But the majority of the stretch should be felt on this side. Right. And that's it. Now, to get out of this position safely, I bring this up. I bring this down. I'm not worried about this, I just let that hang. I bring this up, I put my hand underneath. I'm the brace, the solid base of support. I'm looking at this, it's a lot tighter. Okay, you're more extended. Your leg is straighter. I can feel that. Yeah. So first thing I'm gonna do is have you breathe in. Exhale. Okay, second thing I'm gonna do is come around with my foot. And I'm going to bring you to that 90. You can be around the outside. Yeah. Okay. I'm just having you. I could actively say, hey, can you pull your heel in a little? Good. And I'll just hold and I'll just brace it. There's no, no rocket science here. I'm just making sure it stays straight. But it does want to turn out. It does want to turn out. So that's why I'm doing this. I'm just holding this. And I'm just putting a little pressure on each side. Scale of 1 to 10. I've got like a 3 going on here and a 3 going on here at the same time. How's that stretch? Good. Okay. Good. Is your back arching? No. No because I'm holding your femur like this. And it's a nice stretch. It's a safe stretch. Now, again, if you're working with an overweight client, I'm assuming there might be a little anatomical barrier here. So right now they might be saying, I'm having a hard time breathing. Okay, the more the more reason why they should start losing weight, right? Right. Okay.